Hi, this is a quick demo of CleverLogger, the temperature logging system. In this demo, what I'm going to do is quickly show you what the hardware looks like and then I'm going to spend most of my time just doing the basics of looking at temperatures and understanding the graph and all that sort of stuff. So this is pretty much what users will do 90% of the time when they are using the software. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is just finish with a couple of the configuration screens just to really show you um, how you can really tweak Clever Logger to do exactly what you want. Uh, but first, I'm just going to start with a really brief intro as to what we're trying to do with Clever Logger, what its strengths are, and what its weaknesses are. So, first of all, Clever Logger is really designed for monitoring fixed assets. So, it's, it's for doing things like monitoring your fridges and your freezers. Uh, for monitoring room temperature. Um, it's where you've got locations that you're trying to monitor over a period of time. And, um, and things like trucks sort of fit into the tail end of what Clever Logger is designed for. What it's not designed for is for monitoring things like shipments, where you're sending lots and lots of goods out to lots and lots of different locations. So there's better products for that. Clever Logger is really just designed for trying to monitor fixed assets. And what we actually started with was uh, the medical industry monitoring vaccines. That's what we wanted to do. We wanted to be the best vaccine monitoring system on the planet. Um, since then, because we're doing a good job on that, we're broadening what we're doing slightly and saying, look, we want to be the best monitoring solution for hospitality as well. Um, but really, it's just about monitoring something and making it as quick and easy as possible. So, so our goal, we just want to save you time. We want to save you uh, stress. We want to take all the effort out of monitoring temperature. So that's what CleverLogger is all about. So let's dive in. Let's have a look at how to use CleverLogger and what it can do. So the first thing I want to start with is the hardware. Uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit about terminology as we go through, but there's basically two parts that you need to know about. There's the logger itself, and we've got a couple of different models with external probes or without, with humidity or whatever. But basically the logger is the thing that's going to be monitoring the temperature. It's the thing that's going to be sitting in your fridge, um, or it's the thing that's sitting in the room, in the glass house, in the truck, whatever the case may be. It's the thing monitoring the temperature. The second part is the gateway. Now the, the logger talks to the gateway, and then the gateway is connected to your network, your internet, and so then that allows it to talk to our cloud-based server. Um, so the gateway will be connecting to uh, either ethernet, that is the blue cable that you typically see around, the thing that you plug your computer into the network, or Wi-Fi. And in this demo, I'm not going to cover that, but basically we cover ethernet, we cover Wi-Fi, and we've got videos on how to set that up for you. Okay, so they're the two parts to the system, and I just needed to cover that so you understand what the terminology is and what you're buying. So when you buy the system, you're going to be buying a logger and you're going to be buying a gateway. If, however, uh, you do need to monitor a number of fridges in one location, what you can do there is buy multiple loggers and just the one gateway. But if the, um, the things that you're monitoring are in physically different locations, so different branches or whatever the case may be, you'll need to buy additional gateways. Uh, we've got more information on the website to help you know how many gateways you need, how many loggers you need, or just contact us.